Welcome to the High Tech Investments News Report for Week 22. The news report covers some of the many investments projects High Tech Investments is currently involved in so you can follow our progress. We hope you will enjoy this news feed and look forward to your comments and remarks. Hi, Bo here and welcome back to this week's news report where once again, plenty of updates, plenty of information regarding how things have gone in the past week. But we actually also going to have a look at a bigger perspective this particular week because it is now in June and that means that we have the entire month of May that we can have a look back on and see exactly how our profit has gone. It looks pretty okay. Obviously, we always want more, but also we need to make sure that especially when the Forex market has been uh, playing up a bit here in the month of May, then we have to be cautious. We have to take it easy. Uh, do the slow and steady approach and that's what we have done but it still has paid off and we're going to show you exactly how and where it has through this particular video now also last week i mentioned a bit that there's a new update that's just been released and this is about the liberty range ea robots from expert 4x again because this is a very important update there's quite a few things in there which is good to have. We are testing some of these things as it is already. So obviously more will be coming and also more will be implemented in the future on our individual coupling service and also on the PAM and MAM services in here where we already have the Liberator range working on the RSI and the Wave Liberator versions. They are up and running and we're going to try and implement some of these things in the weeks and months to come here. So whatever it works for the individual currency pairs. And there's also a bit of news from Alex. Definitely there is a focus at the moment on the hedge trading robot also. Definitely under the spotlight. And exactly what that means. Well, Alex has gone in and uh, made this video here. Also showing a bit again on... Uh, how uh, you can basically take these new EAs and what options there are with Expert Forex. So we'll also go through that a bit later in the program. But first, let's start off with yield notes. There is a bit of news for this particular week. So the good news we have for you this week when it comes to yield notes is the certificates of the NFTs. If you have received them and uh, put them in your own wallet or if you uh, basically left them on the yield notes platform here, they have been reissued after some security breaches that was, and this was now a very long time ago. They promised to give us an update. And uh, there was rumors already last week in the news report. We just mentioned that quickly and briefly. And uh, this particular week, it actually came to us. And uh, this is what you have on the screen here. We got it on the 26th of May, so right after the last news report. It has been received. It is still the same number as we had previously so nothing has really changed it doesn't obviously mean that uh, we can now go out and uh, cash this particular one in with yield notes there's still a way to go still have to follow the roadmap they have hopefully there will be a more detailed update coming out of uh, steve and Uwitz, hopefully very very soon uh, we also maybe are gonna go and take another visit and see if there's anybody in the office this time around uh, set up an appointment and hopefully get some information. But until then, we're going to go on and have a look at the SAP coin because it hasn't really changed much. There is very, very low um, trading on that particular part. We can see where we left it last week on the red marker in here. So this is still something like 0.7 uh, zeros and then five. It has gone up in the past week, but again, small minute changes. Uh, and pretty much trading sideways as we see it here at the moment. So the only thing where we can make a bit of money is actually on the staking itself. And the staking has actually been quite good for the SAP coin this particular week. Uh, if we have a look at the week first, the uh, week uh, was 23rd of May and 24th. We actually got two uh, rewards in of 280 SAP each, so 560. So that was pretty good. But then when we have a closer look at the entire month of May, as you will also see on the graph here, it is the best month uh, since uh, January here. So looking really good. And hopefully that is a nice positive omen for what is to come. Overall, it's about 7% for that particular month. So that is very, very nice and very high. 1,680 saps for the month of May. And that is something definitely we're very happy about. But obviously, again, we still need the value to come back to the SAP and uh, we still have a way to go on that one. If we have a look at the PNY, 
we can see that there was only one coming in for the past week, came in on the 28th of May. And before that, it was the 25th. So there's only been two coming in for this particular month. So a very lean month for the PNY part. We only made overall 266 PNY for the month of May, which again was just 1.4%. So this was actually the worst month for the PNY. Uh, and obviously that's how it goes sometimes. And uh, we just have to sit back and see which coins are actually going to be reactivated and when. When the Senemi Pro or Yield Loss Pro is going to come back at full speed and full life. Until then, let's have a look at Bitcoin versus USDT. This one here also has been trading pretty much sideways. Last week we were at 69,000. And since then, things have gone uh, slightly upwards here. Uh, and then quickly down again at uh, almost the same level at 68,000. And it's currently where it has been trading for the entire week. So very, very uh, low, basically, uh, volatility for this particular week when it comes to Bitcoin. Also a bit of news on the Trillion side. And once again, uh, they are talking about here the transparency and the current situation. And uh, one of the things in here, again, is the information they are allowed to give out. They say they have limited information and there is numerous reasons why they cannot provide any more details on this particular one but they are working through the different issues that are with the Trillion and some of the lawsuits that are out there. One of the things that is being mentioned is actually an Australian lawyer that uh, seems to have gone out with the information uh, which is false and is also uh, chasing some of the members from uh, the Trillion platform itself. And uh, one of the ways they say you can basically complain about this uh, if that is what you want. You can go to the Vina Bar Association and then you have the email address on the uh, screen here where you can file a complaint for unauthorized advertising emails in here. So obviously this is one of the uh, gentlemen that uh, seems to be uh, annoying our uh, Trillion team uh, tremendously here at the moment. If we have a look at the coin store and the tree coin overall, here it is not really positive news. Last week we were at 0 0.001337. Since then it has been in a steady decline all the way down to 0 0.00119. And obviously that is not the way that we wanted the uh, three coin to go. There is still also for this one a long way to go in order to get back up to the five or 10 cents that we started off with uh, now more than a year ago. So let's go and have a look at the money tree. That is a bit more on the positive side. This is week 22, the low risk one that actually runs all the different currencies that the money tree is set up for. This particular week make $38 or 0.7%, so not major. The medium risk one, which is actually the one that seems to be working the best and we, best, and we have actually also managed to get that into the sweet spot where it's cashing in every single week is $79 or 1.6% and then the high risk one which we also have adjusted again to a more appropriate level that is now at $87 or 2.1% so that is also tracking quite well uh, moving forward but obviously it's nice to have a closer look also to see how the months are going, the low risk one, $281 or 5.1%. So obviously all of a sudden that looks a lot better. Medium risk one, $189, so a bit disappointing with 3.8% only, but still it is cashing in every single week and every single month. High risk one, $260 or 6.4%. So that one is also going in the right direction again. And if we have a quick look at, this is the link 139C, which is actually the medium account in here. We can see we started off with $5,000 a while back now. Uh, and basically more than a year ago, you can see the history down here is 403 days. So obviously a long time. And there has been some bumps uh, along the way so two times here we actually just jump back to where we were we made up the money again and then once again we uh, lost a bit at the end of the day but now we have uh, found the sweet spot in here and it seems to be cashing in quite nicely without too much risk now we also have to just mention to you again that we have now for the past couple of weeks 
told uh, you that the profit retriever, we are basically closing our profit retriever copy links down. So once the last trade is done, we continue to do so. Uh, we have mentioned this before, and there was also a communication over the weekend here with Alex, where we're saying, well, we're going to continue to keep the copy links alive as long as there's people on them. But at the next opportunity where the trading will be closed off, then that is the last time. And again, this is only for the profit retriever. And I say again, only for the profit retriever. There seems to be some misconception that this is all of our links, which is not really true. And you will see that we still have plenty of the ones both already on and more will come also in the near future. And in the meantime, we have the Trade Explorer, which is also part of the copy link service in here. So we have the 22 pair one for week 22. We've made $125 or 1.3%. So maybe not the biggest amount from the Trade Explorer this week. $206 for the 10 pair one or 2.1%. Definitely a bit better, but the 10 pair one normally always does slightly better than the 22 pair one. And if we have a look at for the month of May overall, 22 pair made $578 or 5.8%. And the 10 pair one did a very nice $1,048 or 10.5%. So definitely both of them in a very good range for this particular month. The drawdown was actually quite low for these ones, even with everything that happened in the Forex market. So the 22 pair looks like this. Weekly returns 1.5, monthly returns 6.5. And again, this is actually not the real truth because again don't forget that we are not increasing lot size as our account is growing so we are looking closer to somewhere between 8 to 15 percent for the two individual accounts you can do the math yourself if you want to history 382 days and then when we have a look at the individual months you can see how they've been going there's been some months where they made 2500 so that's 25 percent overall and in this particular case here we can see that the last month was 578, which is quite low, but we also had similar results for January, February and March. So it's not really that much out of the ordinary. And going over to the 10 pair one, also with the same history, 382 days. Uh, also monthly returns, as you can see, a bit higher, 8.7. So most probably that is in the range of 12 to 15 percent. And then the other one has the weekly return of about two. So going through it and having a closer look at the individual months, uh, that one looks pretty okay, the 1,048, but low compared to the previous months. Month of February was actually lower, but apart from that is one of the slowest months that we had overall in here. Um, but again, it all depends on the individual EAs that we have. And one of the other ones that we have is the Wave Liberator. So and this is for week 40, uh, 22. So the top five EAs in here, Euro USD $36 or 3.6%, US Japanese also $36 and 3.6%, Swiss francs Japanese $34 or 3.4% and then the Aussie Japanese with $29 or 2.9%, Great British Pounds $28 or 2.8%. Overall, if you would have traded those five EAs basically uh, on $1,000 accounts, you would have made $163 or 3.3%. It is quite low, but this week was definitely not the best one for any of the Liberator versions. Having a closer look for the entire month of May, then things actually starting to look slightly better. You can see the Swiss francs Japanese in here with $154 or 15.4%. Great British Pounds did also well with $147 or 14.7%. And then we have US Japanese, $140, 14%. Euro USD, $139 or 13.9%. And then Aussie New Zealand, $133, 13.3%. And again, these top five, if you would have traded those over the entire month of May, you would have made $714 or 14.3%. And now all of a sudden that looks a lot better. If we have a look at the entire portfolio of all the individual ones we have, we have 20 different EAs for the Wave Liberator, each on $10,000 accounts. And again, these are set up for FTMO, so very low uh, drawdown in here to try and compensate for 
for whatever the way they trade here. Uh, you can always double them up up to 10 times here. So instead of the 1.3% you get per month, you can set it up on a $10,000 account. And then you should be able to get around the same number here, 13 or 3% on a weekly basis. You can see the, there's a lot of data in here now with 286 days overall. And the uh, graph is very, very smooth. You can see a small decline because the last couple of weeks has not been so good. And that also shows on the graph itself, but we are sure things will change very, very quickly again. So these are all the currency pairs that you can currently go and have a look on our website to see which ones are the ones that are working the best. And you can even go to the copy link service on Expert Forex and then also team up with some of these if you think that this is a risk strategy and a way to make some extra bucks or try out your forex trading skills while uh, still being guided on the copy service. Now, obviously, there is also a um, bit more details on it. Again, the weekly returns and the monthly returns is 1.3. And the history, as we said before, if we have a closer look at the entire month, you can see we started back in August 2023. And it's been cashing in quite nicely. Short month in August, but after that, it has pretty much uh, made at least a thousand a month. And here, last 1479. It is one of the lower ones, definitely, since we have started. But as we said, this was also a very difficult month on the Forex market for a lot of the EAs. The same for the RSI Liberator version. We also have the top five EAs for the week. The Aussie Swiss francs actually came out on top with $78 or 7.8%. Euro USD came in with $48 or 4.8%. Great British Pounds, $43 or 4.3%. And then Eurocat, $38, 3.8%. And then Great British Pounds, Japanese, $37, 3.7%. And if you would have traded those top five in the past week, you would have made $245 or 4.9%. Definitely very good uh, for a particular week here. So uh, anybody uh, would get around 20% over that particular time. But again, if we have a look at the entire month of May, then it looks slightly different. So we're not really getting all the way to 20%. But the Great British Pounds Japanese did make $171 for that month, or 17.1%. Aussie Swiss francs, $163, or 16.3%. Euro USD, $159, or 15.9%. And Aussie USD, $134, 13.4%. Great British Pounds USD, $117, or 11.7%. And then those top five have made $744 or 14.9% for this particular month. That is definitely still approved in a month that has, uh, well, basically showed up as quite difficult. Now, if we have a look at the 22 different EAs we have, this is the entire portfolio at the moment. You can see the floating profit and loss is quite low, minus 3,000 at the moment. Close profit is just a bit more, and that's what normally happens, especially in the beginning. You need to open up that gap for the first few months. Total returns uh, are a bit on the low side, as we mentioned here, uh, but it has also been a difficult month with uh, some heavy drawdowns, which is now being retraced at the moment. So that's good. Trade wins 66.5%, good profit factor overall, and more than 10,000 pips has already been taken in with about 20 trades per day and a history of 55 days. So that one is a bit shorter overall, but we still have plenty of different currency pairs that we will also release for the copy link service at some point when we are good and ready. And uh, you can actually go on the website already to have a look at the individual numbers to see which ones you think uh, might be the best ones uh, Then basically is the more safe or is the ones that are creating the more profit overall. Now, as we only have 55 days of history, this is what the graph looks like. So very impressive still. And if we have a look at the monthly profits, the month of April was actually 1549. And this month of May is actually slightly better. There is also uh, an additional six EAs for the month of May in here. So even though it was a difficult month, then also the six extra EAs certainly help uh, cashing in some extra net profit overall. And you can find more details, as I mentioned, on our website. It looks like this. Simply go to the portfolio opportunities. You'll find the 
Wave Liberator version in there, the ISR, or you can also click on the PAM accounts that will take care of everything for you. So if you click on that, you will get over here where you can still see details and information about the Wave Liberator and the ISI Liberator. You can start it up here, download your instructions for the PAM account, or you can simply go and have a closer look and see how well they are doing uh, before you make a decision if this is something for you. At the moment, as we said, this was still not a loss. We have to emphasize that. This is the FX Blue that actually shows up like this because when an investor, and in this particular case here, it was about $60,000, when they take the money out, they also take the profit away at the same time. And then that shows up, looks like a loss, which it actually wasn't. Uh, but anyway, it is a bit of an annoying part of FX Blue. There's quite a few chips in that particular armor. But we are still very much positive all the way through with a good history now of more than three months, so 94 days. And we can see how the development has been. Even in the first month here, we had 8,000 back in March. Then in April, it was actually a very good month. But unfortunately, because of we had this uh, withdrawal of uh, funds, we ended up with only 5,600. It didn't change anything for the rest of the investors in here they are still getting their profits and it's good to see that the month of may even though we have been trading very very cautious because we didn't really like the market first it was the japanese part that was trending heavily then it was the swiss ranks so we are taking the slow uh, and steady approach to make sure that everything is working as it should be and we are still cashing in might be lower than we wanted and what we expected but again, this is the Forex market. It will certainly always dictate how things are happening. And if we have a closer look at the RSI Liberator version also here, the same thing happened. We also had an investor basically pulling out uh, about 10,000 out of the 30 we had in here. That looked like a profit loss, but it actually wasn't. That's why you have the net profit in here also for the month of April. But as you can see for the month of May, also here, we've done quite well. Things have been going up and up, and we made about 3,000 for this particular week on an account that has now, uh, again, surpassed uh, 30,000. So that is very, very good news. And with the 45 day of history, there is a long way to go. Now, we also have to tell you again here that Expert 4X, and we mentioned that in the beginning of the video here, we have the new updated versions for the RSI, the Wave, and the Edge EA, so these are all the Liberator versions. If you have one of these EAs already, then definitely you can go in and update it. So some of these are now version two and three, so go and have a closer look at the Expert Forex site where you download them to make sure that you have the latest ones. Uh, there will be other ones coming out uh, later on, and there might even be a new EA. Uh, Alex mentioned in one of his latest videos, which is obviously exciting news but we are still very much learning these particular ones in here but he will continue to thrive and basically work on some of these details i mentioned this here also the hedge trading robot uh, there is a couple of different ways of making money and if you go to this particular video here we'll make sure that the link is in the description below there is obviously a couple of ways you can do this you can go on the copy link service in here where there's plenty of hea trading robots already going and alex has also uh, released if you are a forum member in here i believe then you can also go and have a look at the individual settings so that means that if you want to buy the robot and you want to trade yourself then you can basically use some of the settings he has set up. There's already trading results. Some of them are going as far back as almost six months here. And then you can use them to see if you want to do that instead of having somebody else trade for you. And that's what we had for you in this week's news report. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some inspiration here also as what is working, what is not working and exactly how much you should and could expect at the end of the day when you are trading some of these platforms and robots, different types of EAs provide different profits month after month. It is certainly not a game where you can simply just uh, cash in uh, 2000 every single month. As you'll see, it's very much up and down and very much dependent on which instruments that you're actually using, especially to trade the Forex market. 
in a month like May became. So I hope uh, obviously you're going to join in next week again, where I will have new updates, information, and hopefully even more profit. So until then, see you around. Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed our news report. So please don't forget to like and add your comment below, as we would love to get your feedback. But before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget to keep the notification bell turned on. That way, you will never miss any of our future videos. We hope to see you back on this channel very soon.